Going the distance for local sports. This is X Sports Today. Welcome to X Sports Today, where we are talking all things high school volleyball as we get you ready for the 2024 season. Starting things off in the southern part of Lawrence County, where the Loretto Lady Mustangs are not only looking for a return trip to Murfreesboro, they're looking to bring it all home with a state title. The anticipation level is always high when it comes to Loretto Volleyball, and this team in 2024 is no different. We're pretty excited. I mean, with the season we had last year and we have a lot of returning players, we're really excited to get back to work and try and get back to where we were last year. The Lady Mustangs return the bulk of their starters and production as they aim to make another run. So we're very excited about that. So we have a lot of leaders on the court, so that'll definitely help out any new people that get on the court this year. So we're really excited about having a lot of people returning with us this year. The Black and Gold saw their season come to an end in the Class A state title game, an event that brought a new goal and a new sense of bonding. It was really motivating and I feel like we're all really close to each other. It's not like just a team, more of a family and stuff, so it's like really fun. <laughs> I mean, losing, I mean, we lost the basketball one too, and some of us play both. So, I mean, losing is not a good feeling, especially in that final game. So, I mean, we're really excited to get in there and finish it. The Lady Mustangs will get to play in their new gym for the first time this season, giving them plenty of opportunities to get better. We're super excited for this. You know, we, we get to have two courts now to do some different, you know, types of training and things like that on. But, um, you know, it is, it is a bigger gym, so, you know, more opportunity to fill it. So, Unfinished business is a motto for this team once again, knowing what they need to do, not just to get back to Murfreesboro, but to win it all. The fact that we were right there, you know, it's, it's a lot to look forward to uh, this year, you know, set that goal, set that standard that we want to try to get to, but at the same time realizing like this is a new season, so it doesn't matter that we were there last year, like you've got to earn it and get back to that spot again this year. I think bonding more, a lot of team, like being together as a team and just we saw really good teams, especially Cell Creek, so when we go to camps and stuff we really need to be more focused and really try to win those. Keeping our focus and just making sure we play well together as a team and holding everybody accountable I think will get us back there this year. Now over to the northern part of the county in class single A where the Lady Eagles of Summertown are looking to get back on the right track and make another trip to the state tournament. The Summertown volleyball team is eager to get back on the court and get back to a place of prominence. I'm really excited. I think we have a really good team this year. Just our um, our bonds are better than it has been in the past. So I feel like we're there's a lot of friendships on this team. So I'm really excited to play with all that. The Lady Eagles missed out on the state tournament last year for the first time in a while, motivating this team to make it back. We worked pretty hard. Um, I was very determined to do better than we did last year. So me and some of the girls have been working all off season on some of the things that we didn't do as well on. So it shows that we definitely have been working on the off season. The blue and white will have a mix of youth and experience heading into 2024 when they hope develops quickly into a winner. It's pretty much a new team. So we just have to work on our team dynamic and getting back to like who likes what sets and just really just working on what we need to fix and critique. Well, we have a lot of people who did play last year but then there's some that didn't and are going to have to step up and I think they'll I think it'll work fine. The Lady Eagles will have Abby Jo Schaefer back in the lineup bolstering their strength at the front of the net. Really hard to um, have to, I mean, I still wanted to be a part of the team and everything, but it was hard to come and just sit there. But it gave me a good perspective on how to be a better teammate when not playing or on the bench. The goal is simple for Summertown this season, make it back to Murfreesboro and get in the mix for a state title. We just gotta work hard and really, I think you just have to really want it. And if you push and, and push yourself and be the best that you can be, I feel like you can, we can do it. Coming up next, we head on over to Class 3A as we take a look at the Lady Cats of Lawrence County. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140.
Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, seven days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family owned, family operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. Going the distance for local sports. This is X Sports Today. Welcome back to X Sports Today. As we make the jump up to Class 3A, where Lawrence County is getting ready for 2024. The Lady Cats had their first year in their new class a year ago, bringing home a district title, but this time they're looking for more. The Lawrence County volleyball team is hoping for big things in 2024, and they believe they have the right mix to make a run. I think that we can go pretty far this year. I really do. We have some really good freshmen. We have, obviously, we have people coming back. We have a few good seniors, and we have really good juniors, sophomores. We have a very good team this year. I think we play really well together, and we're all really close. I really do. I think we're all very good friends, and I think that also comes into play when it comes down to playing. I feel like the chemistry, I feel like it really works well with us. The Lady Cats have another strong senior class, one that will be making contributions all across the court. We all play different positions, so it really equals out perfectly, and we trust each other, and that's really important. The Purple and Gold will also have a strong group of incoming freshmen that will help in more ways than one. This year we've got seven freshmen that we kept, and they are... They're kind of above the norm for freshman players. I think they're uh, very strong, and I think they're going to add a lot of depth to our team. And the jump to 3A in 2023 had its fair share of success with the district title and a spot in the region, but also had its share of challenges that the Lady Cats have learned from. Oh, it was definitely much stronger competition, bigger girls, bigger hitters, and but we're going to work through it and we're going to be a good team this year. Lawrence County has won their district for three straight years and they know everyone in their league is aiming for them. It doesn't bother us. We go in just as strong as we were these past three years because I think we got it. The Lady Cats have high aspirations for this season, but they're going to take it one step at a time. Going to state or going as far as we can. And we have a lot of good hitters. We have a lot of young ones. So I don't think it will be like that hard. We just have to learn and adjust to who we like who our competition is this year. Coming up next, we switch things up a little bit as we go over to college football as UNA had their UAC Media Day this past week. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's most dynamic furniture store. Featuring our Made in America galleries with solid wood dining and bedrooms, leather furniture, mattresses, and so much more. You want it? We've got it. With our three acres of showroom and our huge warehouse, we're sure to have exactly what you want. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. 
Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Let's make a deal. This is Jeff Hood with Keller Williams Hood Company in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. The real estate market is moving so fast and making a mistake or a bad decision could cost you or lead to disappointment. At Keller Williams, our team of professionals are the very best at what they do and they have the very best resources to help you make your best deal. Call us at 931-762-5816 or better yet, go to our website at kwhoodcompany.com. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, making real estate deals great again. Going the distance for local sports. This is Exports Today. Welcome back to Exports Today. Now over to college football where it was media day for North Alabama in the UAC this past week. The Lions are looking to rebound under second year head coach Brent Deerman and this time maybe even make a run to the FCS playoffs. The Lions wrapped up UAC Media Day this past week in Dallas. North Alabama's coming off a 3-8 and season in 2023 where it finished 1-5 in the newly formed conference. Second year head coach Brent Deerman has been busy rebuilding his roster and keeping the stars from a year ago in the lineup. The Lions were picked to finish 7th in the 19 league in the preseason polls. This group will return a lot of starters on both sides of the ball, but will need to fill voids left in some key spots. Deerman can't wait to get it all started in the coming week. It's an exciting time. Um, it it kind of lets you know the kickoff of the season's right around the corner when you come to media days. Uh, they do a great job down here in Dallas of, of putting this event together. Um, our, our two representatives here with, with uh, Jackson and TK have done an extremely good job of, of handling themselves, talking to the media. Uh, great representation of UNA and, and the state of Alabama for sure. Uh, but it, it, this just tells us it's time to go. Uh, when we come down to this event, in two days we got kids moving in and, and we'll start practicing in three days. So. It just means go time for us. Man, this one, this one is at the top. Really, really, yeah, because we got so much to prove to everyone, and they don't know what I see every day. They don't know what's coming. So this one has me excited more than a lot of others. That does it for Exports Today. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys next week. Going the distance for local sports. This is Exports Today.